This channel shows you tricks and techniques for solving Sudoku puzzles without candidates. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more tricks and techniques and to learn more about uh, solving not without writing candidates or pencil marks. This is Sudoku to Go Volume 113, puzzle number 90. This puzzle is pretty tricky, and today we will show two things about the diagonal pattern and how this pattern will make this puzzle easier to solve. Before you watch this video, you can print the puzzle. Click on the link in the video description where it says print this puzzle and solution, or go to sudokuprimer.com and on the menu you'll find print YouTube puzzles before you watch. This is video number 300 in this channel. Uh, with Sudoku Primer video 0, there are 301 videos total on this channel now. Thank you for all of your support, and uh, uh, I hope these have, videos have been very helpful to you. All right, I'm going to talk about the uh, diagonal pattern here. We've got um, a situation, a diagonal pattern is where you have a situation where you have two numbers and they're kitty corner to each other in two different cells and when you have a situation like that like this seven and three here you can look for numbers in this row in this column and this row and if you find two numbers that are both in this column outside of the box and in this row outside of the box that aren't in this box already, you'll have twins right here. Now here we have 8, 6, and 4, um, which aren't in here already. And here we have 5 and 2 that aren't in here already. But we need two numbers in both the column and the row. Let's look at this one right here. Here we have a 5 and a 7. Here we have 3, 5, and 6. There's already a 5 there. And here we have a 3, 9, and a 6. So we have a 3 and 6 here and 3 and 6 here. So these are 3, 6 twins. So that's an example of the diagonal pattern. Two things about the diagonal pattern. First of all, it's a pattern that can be hard to see. You wouldn't expect it to uh, be able to find twins because it's a little bit um, harder to see. And also, when you find twins here, whether you can solve them or not, it makes a corner pattern in that box. In this case, we have three six twins here. And if we could solve them, we could put the three and six in here and we'd have a corner pattern. But we can't in this case, so we have what I call a hidden corner pattern. And I'll, I'll use that hidden corner pattern in just a minute. All right, well, let's get started um, on solving this. We've got uh, about three, diff three different easy numbers here. There's a seven right there with these sevens. And there's a <clears throat> seven here, seven here, seven here. So that's a seven. And then we've got a four here, four here, four here. So that's a four right there. And that's about it for easy numbers for this puzzle. We're already kind of running into problems. We're going to have to use more advanced techniques to, to find numbers at this point. And also, I forgot to mention, there's a 3 and a 7 here, 3 and a 7 here. So these are 3 7 twins right here. And we'll take advantage of those too later on in the puzzle. Let's take a look at this box right here and see what we're missing. We're missing 2, 3, 5, 9. 2, 3, 5, and 9. Now, I know this is a 9, and there's three ways to see that. Uh, first of all, we have a set of triplets here. We have 2 there and 3 there, so 2, 3, and a 5 here, so 5 goes here. So we have a set of 2, 3, 5 triplets there. That makes that a 9. We can also look at this um, column here and see what's missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 is missing. 
with a 5 here and 6 and 8 here. We know that's a 9. All right. And uh, the third way is we've got, um, let's see, we've got If we look at this, remember we are missing 2, 3, 5, and 9 here. We've got a 2, 3 here and a 5 there, so that makes that a 9. So three ways to see that 9 right there, but it's a little bit more advanced. You had to find a set of triplets or, or uh, it was a little bit harder to see. Now with these 9s, we can have a 9 here or here, but remember our 3, 6 twins and our, and our corner pattern here. So that makes that a 9 right there. All right, and with that 9 in there, um, now we can see there's a 4, 8 here and a 4, 8 here. So these are 4, 8 twins there. With that 4, we can solve them. All right, and with, with those numbers, and see how this diagonal pattern and hidden corner pattern helped us find these numbers right there. And now I've got an 8 there, 8 there, so that's an 8. And um, now we're only missing, let's see, 1, 2, and 5 in this row. There's a 5 there, so we know that's a 5. The 5 can't fit here or here. And now we've got a 1 and 2 in this row. That's the only numbers left there. All right, and uh, let's see. Now, since we put this 8 here, we've got a situation where we've got a gate pattern there with an 8 going through it and an 8 here. So we have an 8 there, ghost 8s, and an 8 there. So that makes that an 8. And with these 8s and that 8, we can put an 8 there. Now we're only missing 5 and 6 here in column 9. All right, and now with these eights, and remember our three, three seven twins here, we've got a, a situation where now we have four and eight here. And so with these three seven twins, we know these are four eight twins right there. Okay, and we have one two twins here. I'm gonna show you that this is a one and we find that by using double column elimination. We have one, two there. We've got a one here with a three, seven twins and four, eight twins. So that makes these ghost ones right here. So we have a one, ghost ones, and one here. So we have one here, one here, and that eliminates these two columns for this box. So we know that's a one right there. And we're only missing two and seven now in that box. All right, now let's look at row seven here. We've got a six here and a six here, so we know that's a six. And once we put this six in, we can fill in the three six twins that we've known about right there. And we've only got two numbers left here in box three, and that's a two and a three. With that three, we can solve those. All right. Now let's look at row six here. Remember we found four eight twins here. We have a, a three seven twins there and four eight twins there. Now we have a three and a seven there and a three and a seven here. That makes these three seven twins also. So now we have three seven twins there and four eight twins there. So what do we have left? We got three sevens and four eights. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, one and five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing one, five, and nine here because we have four eight twins there, three seven twins there. There's a one and a five, so that's a nine right there. And that makes these one and five. And with that five, we can solve those.
All right, now we're only missing one and six here in row one, and with that six, we can fill those in. And now let's look at column five. Rem remember, we have three seven twins here, so let's see what we're missing. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, five, and nine in this column. Here we have a 2, 4, and 5, so that's a 9. Now we're missing 2, 4, and 5. Here's a 2 and a 4, so that's a 5. And here's a 2, so we can make that a 4 and that a 2 right there. All right, now we'll go, let's see. five. Um, there's a 5 here and a 5 here and a 5 there, so we can put a 5 right there. And remember, we had 5 and 6 there. With that 5, we can solve those. All right, now we're only missing one number here, and that's a 1 in row 7. Now we've got 2 and 9 here and 2 and 9 here. With this 2, we can solve those. Nine. 2, 9, 2 there. All right, now we've got a loner cell here. It's the only number left missing in here, but I'm going to show you another way to find that. You can look at these, these six numbers and these six numbers. They're the same as these six numbers. So we got a 4, 2, and 3. 4, 2, 3. So that's not 4, 2, or 3. Here's a 9, 7, and 6. We got a 9 and a 7, so that's a 6. It's just another way to, to, to find that number. All right, now with our 1, 2 twins that we have here, with that 1, we can solve those. And uh, we're only missing one number here, and that's at 3. And now we can solve our three sevens there. And this is a six, only number left in this box and this column. All right, now what are we missing in box four here? Remember, uh, this is a loner cell. And we've got five, three, and one here, five, three, one, and eight, nine, four there. There's an eight and a four, so that's a nine. Now we're only missing two and seven there. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I made a mistake here. I put a three there. That should be seven. And that should be three. <laughs> I'll bet some of you caught that. Okay, now that's a two and that's a seven because that's the only two numbers left there. All right, now we're only missing five and nine here. There's a nine there, so we can fill those in. And with this five, we can fill in the four and five there. And we have four, eight here and three, seven there. We can solve those, there's a seven. <laughs> kind of messed up there on that three, seven right there. Okay, three, seven there, and four, eight here. There's a four there, so you can put a four and an eight there, and we have a one and eight here. See, with that eight, we can fill those in, and now we're missing one, two there. With that two, we can fill those in, and we're done. All right, well, this video showed you the diagonal pattern, and we talked about the two things about the diagonal pattern. With this, with these three six twins here, even though we didn't solve them, we found that nine, which really broke open this puzzle. And uh, <clears throat> so this video shows you the diagonal pattern and why it's worth looking for. It's a little bit harder to, to find uh, twins and triplets with that, because you're not really looking for that situation. But uh, if you do find twins in a diagonal pattern, 
whether you can solve them or not, they'll turn that into a corner pattern, which should help you. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.